So this is a small building that's part of a larger single family project. We named the project Screened Landing because it is sort of this amorphous, transitional, a little bit of everything building. It's a screen porch that connects to activity and recreation. It's a screen porch that connects to nature. And it was inspired by family creating a place that is active and engaging, but also sort of a, a getaway, a little bit of a retreat from the rest of the site and the rest of the buildings and time together. My favorite part of this project is the adaptability. I really love that the building itself can transform. So it's lensed, it's screened, but it's built with these really beautiful custom crafted sashes that slide and lift up. And there's a sort of playful nature about the way that the building closes in. This incredible builder that we worked with, the way that he made each piece and how it feels in your hand, how it operates, how it looks, that detail of it is really my favorite part of the project. I would say that our clients love the ability to use this building, to be able to be together, to have this sort of departure point for recreation. The craft and the dedication of the team that's been able to put this together, I think that that beauty really resonates with them. I think this project in its simplicity is really quite wonderful, both its footprint, its floor plan, um, but certainly the builder would never say that this building is simple. It's really all embedded in the details and the components, the opportunity to work, even at the furniture scale, to have fun and design swing benches and furnishings for the inside, the pieces of the project that people would really truly engage with on a day-to-day -day basis. That was incredibly exciting to work on. I think the lesson learned largely ties back to that idea of simplicity about the opportunity that exists if you keep the floor plan really kind of down to the basics, a single simple brush stroke, and then the opportunity to dive into the pieces that you use and experience every day. And the excitement that you can sort of jump off from that point of almost starting with this really, again, simple but clean palette and be able to explore everything kind of from there within. And I'd love to continue that into future projects and be able to think about even those scales, those kind of melding of the interior with the shell of the architecture, with the landscape, and sort of how to continue to jump from one scale to the other and make it all a cohesive part of one project. We had a wonderful project team, um, as we often do. And I really am so grateful to our builder, Bill Simons, who did an incredible job putting this building together, crafting each piece of it, each of those sashes and the sliding elements, all of the furnishings that were built in his shop are really remarkable. And Tim Green, metalsmith, who helped us with design and fabrication for all of the hardware for the swing seat, um, really, again, sort of the artisan piece of it is incredible. And then a thank you to Albert Putnam, who's our structural engineer, who we love working with. And a big thank you to our clients who are constantly inspiring and exciting new ideas. And thank you as well to Richardson Associates and Salmon Falls for healing the site in, in a remarkable way. We walked away and it felt like the building had always been there. <laughs>